Hi everyone, welcome to the first video in my series of how to use Newzella in your classroom. Today's topics we're going to cover are signing in and setting up your classes. So our school district has purchased Newzella for the middle and the elementary school. So if you will teach at those schools, the district should have already loaded your Gmail account into Newzella so you have full access to all of their content. Um, to sign in for the first time, all you're going to do is click the sign in button. And then it is registered through your school Gmail. So you're going to click sign in with Google. And then choose your school Gmail. And you're in. If you have any trouble with this, if your Gmail account is not registered with Newzella, please contact myself um, or Mr. DK and we can get you set up with that. Um, I tried this with the new staff at the middle school and they were able to log in. So hopefully you will be able to as well. So this is what Newzella looks like on the homepage. I'll cover finding articles and creating assignments in my next video. For this, at the second part of this video today will just be how to get your students loaded into Newzella. So here's what you'll do. You will go click on this little icon with your initials and you're going to go down to where it says settings. And over here, you're going to go to where it says classes. Now you have two different options when it comes to importing students into Newzella. The first option is the one that most of you will probably use, and that is Google Classroom. So if you are using Google Classroom this year, you can very easily sync all of the students that are already signed into Google Classroom into Newzella. So I'd recommend logging all your kids on Google Classroom first, and then once you've done that, you just push sync now. As you can see, all of my classes from last year are still in here. When I push sync, I can select which of my Google Classrooms I want to choose. So these are all my academic classes from last year. And I would just click sync. If you get a new student added to your um, roster during the year, once you sign them into Google Classroom, you can just sync, resync it to get them loaded into Newzella as well. And you'll see that my last synced date is today at 1043. So all those rosters have been uploaded. So that's how to do it through Google Classroom. Super easy. If you do not use Google Classroom, you can create a class through Newzella. Um, and if you push this create a class button, there is a, there's a, um, a way for you to title your classroom, the grade level, the subject. If you work at the elementary school, you can turn a content filter on. And so that will, on the student side, make it so that they are only seeing age-appropriate material uh, for elementary kids. And then you would once you create that class, it would generate a class code right here that your students would use to log in and join your class on Nutella. Once you have your classes made, that is how you will push out assignments to students, just like you would on Google Classroom. Um, so just to review, use your Gmail account with the school to log in, and then you can use Google Classroom, uh, upload your students in there, and then sync them up, and that's how you get them into Newzella. Uh, thank you. The second video in this series will be about how to use the platform um, for academic content, so please watch that um, to do those things. Have a great day.